Hi, this is Glenn Doreen at CES 2014, and I'm here with our uh, senior home and garden editor, Ed Peratori. He's just started uh, looking through the show, um, there is, but there is a lot, there's a reason why we have a, a home editor here, and that is because there is a lot of attention around the cross-section of electronics and the home space, but it really is becoming its own category. What is, what's, what's driving this? It, it, it's amazing. It's all about the convenience that people have, like the, the promise of smartphones. Mm -hmm that app after app is changing people's lives and people want to use the phone to simplify every, every part of their lives and one of the parts is just controlling things in their home. And we're talking about things, everything from door locks to, to the water, the main water supply of your house to your thermostat to, your, uh, to the lighting. There's I lighting, mean, there are even oddball things like toothbrushes and toilet bowls that, we, that are the butt of jokes and uh, no, but, no but, pun intended right yeah. yep so what's interesting about this is that I think at first a lot of this stuff gets was greeted by consumers with a bit of an eye roll like oh you know very much in the same of the the smart refrigerator oh great I need my refrigerator to have a screen on it and it feel it felt like a novelty but in my in my experience I'm starting to see Companies like Lowe's, like AT&T, getting into this, providing services. Uh, you had mentioned before Staples uh, is selling some of this stuff, yes. right? So, so that, that, that to me tells me that it's no longer some sort of novelty or joke anymore. This is really becoming its own yeah. thing. Yeah, it, right? it, it sounds it sounds like a product idea that has gotten legs. And uh, but there there is a side of it that seems like technology for its own sake, mm -hmm. just because the technology is there to control various devices in the home. Got it and smartphones are the way to it. I was guessing that we're thinking of the fact that the home market is picking up and therefore it's time for experimentation and, and, and I guess when you're ripping apart your home is the time you'd think of something like this, is that right? I mean, well, you don't, you don't necessarily have to rip your home apart. There are there some products that require no drilling, no tools, no wiring, nothing really except placing certain devices around the home and using the app to tie them all together. Interesting. With certain things like the, there's one called a uh, smart alarm that has has various components that it this isn't new. They have a few new pieces of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, what they do is they'll have a like a door window sensor. Mm -hmm. Security system that reaches out literally to the touch points of it, right? Where you're where you're literally entering your home. And not necessarily the security of it. Like they'll they'll also have one that you can plug things into, say like various lights, mm -hmm. and control when they go on and off, or you'll know whether they're on and off, and if you're a real control freak, you can be at work and tell your kids, hey, you have on too many lights. <laughs> I, I, I imagine my my father would love that. Well, at least when I was living with him, my father would have loved this. Turn off the lights. Close the fridge. <laughs> it can't close the fridge yet, can it? Well, you know, we we did see some fridges that uh, went went through went through our labs testing, mm -hmm. where a fridge that would prompt you if someone had left the door open. Ah, huh, interesting. So, which, which that that one seems like a really good benefit. Yeah, yeah. And, there, you're uh, not wasting the energy, right? Sure. Another one we saw. Again, this is not at CES. This is something that is a few months old, mm -hmm. a dryer that will send you a text to say, hey, the the outtake is clogged. Huh. It's too much dust in there. And it's not just a convenience thing, oh, my dryer is not working efficiently. No, if that's clogged, it could burn your house down. It's a down. fire hazard, it's right? A fire ha a clear fire hazard. Interesting. I want to focus in for just a second on door locks, because sure. I think that's, that's, that's a, it's an interesting point um, in the evolution of this stuff, because what it's essentially saying is, access to your home. Now, I think that people get an emotional reaction when they feel like we're talking about a digital door lock. And whenever I discuss this with people, the first question anybody says is, oh my god, can you hack into somebody's home? Yeah. And I'm conflicted about it. I sort of think, as a, as a technology expert, I think, well, you can hack into anything. There, there is no such thing as a perfectly secure digital system. But most people have a window right next to, <laughs> to, their, to their door lock as well, and a brick serves is, is probably a lot easier than a uh, than, than than going through the code. Yeah. I don't know. What's your take on it? They, this is the security to people's homes, and it's moving yeah. in this direction of a like phone activated lock. It's one of those things that, like, that there's a side to me that thinks, oh yeah, this is very convenient. It's helpful, but there's another part that tells me 
through the years, with any technology, there was a good side, there was a bad side. There were people who use it for good, there were people who use it for evil. What, what I've started to see around the show is that it's not just major door um, door lock manufacturers. Lock manufacturers, the you know, they are getting into it. The Schlegs, the Quickset, the Yale, they're producing these digital yeah. locks. But I'm starting to see small little startups getting into the door lock business, and I think that is. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure what to think of it. We haven't gotten any of these in our labs, but yes. But it's a weird thing that this would be the province of startup of small startups. Let me wait till they're around a few years. That's a good point. And test them out on other people's houses. I, <laughs> Especially with a door lock. I, I think that a lot of these people are getting their cue from Nest probably, right? Because they were a small startup company and, you know, for better or for worse. They're booming. They're booming right now. And I think that people smell, they smell money. And they sure. say, you know, if the thermostat could be reinvented, uh, maybe the uh, door lock could be reinvented. But reinvention isn't always necessarily a great thing, especially when it comes to the security of your home. Right. You're never punished for keeping an open mind about this type of stuff as well, as we've noticed, right? Like, it, every once in a while, somebody comes along, and like you said, Microsoft and Apple were one startup companies, so maybe they've got the, maybe they do have the next big thing in door locks, but we'll, we'll obviously have to see. We'll, 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 we'll sick a lock picker and a half around them at the same time and see what happens. We, we, we probably will. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's great talking to you. Um, I know that you've got a lot left to see in the show. I won't let you, uh, I won't slow you down, but thanks for joining us, and... Uh, uh, out there, anybody who wants to learn more about uh, the connected home and uh, what we saw at CES, please join us at, consu at consumerreports.org/ces.